Well, hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got another requested video. This one was requested by Susan R. She wanted to see an opalescent water marble over a white base. So I have got my nails prepped with my white base. I've done a base coat, one coat of Bitsy's. Mm -hmm. This one's called Flawless. And then I will be water marbling with the opalescent polishes from Simple Colors. And the first one is Prized Plume. And then this beautiful purple is Flight to Sea. And then now this green color is Sheer Flight. So I've got my cup of room temperature water here ready to go. I've got my homemade liquid latex on my little digits here. It's almost dry. I've got a couple spots that are a little wet. But this first finger is dry, so we're going to hop on into it. I'm going to get the caps open on these, and we're going to get busy. Alrighty, here we go. i do our first drop. And again, I'm going to run my toothpick around the cup to bring that polish all the way out to the outer edge. And we're just going to do drops of each color. This is very hard to see on camera, um, but that's kind of the whole point of opalescent colors, I believe. These I bought at least a couple of years ago. I don't know if they were like a special edition, but any kind of polish that's really sheer like this would work really good for a manicure like this one. Try to get a couple more drops in here. And there we go. We got our drops in. I'll move these polishes just a hair. And then we're going to draw our design. And today I'm just going to go with like the petal shape, I believe. And I just start from not out by the edge of the cup, but kind of a couple of rings in those first drops have probably already tried to dry a little bit. I'm just bringing them to the center and dipping down. So there we go. Um, here we go. Dip in. Start getting that excess up with the toothpick. A lot of people like to use um, Q-tips or cotton buds, as they're called. I just prefer using my toothpick. And I have gone back to using my toothpick for drawing my design. It's what I'm most comfortable with. And here we go. We're going to slowly pull out. And there we go. Very cool. Now, I like to pull the latex off pretty much immediately. I like to run my toothpick around it to break that seal and then try to get this latex to start coming up. Snap and pull and there we go. Turned out really well. Kind of digging that. Alright, we're going to do another one. I'm going to quit yakking. I am going to speed through the next ones and uh, come back towards, you know, towards the end. <laughs> Here we go. Alrighty, so as normal, I am putting in that first drop and running the toothpick around the cup like I always do. And we're just building those bullseyes. I love doing this. Water marbling is probably one of my favorite techniques ever. I wish I could do them more often. Um, and to be honest, I really don't know that they take much more time than a regular mani of mine. <laughs> So, you know, maybe I should convince myself of that and do them more often. I really did like how this turned out, though. I love it. Because um, I had used these polishes before um, over black. And they were really, really hard to see. Especially hard to capture on film or on camera. And uh, so it was really nice to see them you know, show up a little better here on white. So it was an excellent request. And I'm just using that little toothpick to get up under that latex and pop it so I can pull it off. Snap, there we go. And we're just going to do this again. I know a lot of you really love seeing 
all mean you know show all of the water marbles you know each finger and some of you are like I ah, just show one or two and I'm good but you know I decided I would kind of just give it the best of both worlds and you know um, show show them but speed it up make it look like I'm superwoman or something this is to me one of the now that I have it figured out now that I know how to water marble it's a very calming and relaxing enjoyable manicure for me I have so much fun playing with the polishes in the water to me it's just way cool it wasn't always like that <laughs> and breaking that seal to me that's really important too breaking that seal so you don't pull it up because I have done that it has happened so there we go we got got those ones done let's do some more I got a little dent in my cup I'll fix that here in a minute <laughs> got a little sloppy with that drop it went cursed plunk but it didn't sink to the bottom so that's good and you can turn that cup and give it a little tap and a jiggle to make those colors spread out if they're not working well for you um, some polishes <clears throat> excuse me just do way better than others and some of them you can make them work but you just got to turn that cup or give it a little jiggle or a tap tap just to get them to spread a little bit more and there we go with that pinky kerplunk and there we go fix that dented cup they start getting soft after a few <laughs> I normally use two cups but today I just had one there we go so this one was really fun for me I think this would be a great springtime manicure of course you guys know I don't do really go by the seasons I do a lot by the seasons but I don't just 100% stick to that you guys know I'll wear neons in the middle of winter if I'm just feeling it so there we go I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup here with my cleanup brush and some acetone just a little bit it wasn't too messy because I did use the latex and now we're gonna top it with some posh top coat seal that beautiful water marble in give it some lasting power with some top coat but I love this one the iridescent polishes or opalescent polishes are so pretty but I would love to hear what you think about this one leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts and that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.